Yeah, maybe I, I can I just give the Dr. Cha to make some initial comments on the movies that you saw a few minutes before we pass it back to the crowd. Uh, I will only comment on Amir Reza's film. Um, I think it's a it's a good film documentary on the AMCJ Putra. It's a it's a first uh, first full length film documentary, and uh, it it gives an uh, alternative version of a mass movement that is not uh, presented in the official history of uh, the independence struggle. <coughs> and um, I, I would just like to say that uh, the, uh, the, the, the film uh, focuses very well on the, on the accounts given by the veterans based also on uh, documents and uh, films from the archives as well as uh, recollections. <clears throat> now the uh, AMCJ Putra played a very important role in the creation and development of uh, Malaysian con Malayan consciousness or nationalism. And uh, it was the first uh, multi-ethnic uh, mass movement combining Malay and non-Malay parties. They together, I think they com they had about sixty thousand members. Each of the co coalition, the Putra, AMS, uh, the, Put, uh, the Putra, the Malay coalition, had a number of uh, affiliated organisations. It was led by the Malay Nationalist Party. Its leaders were Dato uh, Dr. Bahanuddin and Ishak Haji Muhammad. And the normally all Malaya Council of Joint Action was led by uh, Tan Cheng Lok and it comprised uh, the Malayan Democratic Union, the Malayan in the Indian Congress and other organizations. Now, one other point I need to point out is that the, the Malayan Communist Party and its Pan-Malayan Federation of Trade Unions were not members of the AMCG Putra. But one or two of his unions, uh, I think, did join in, and they but they endorsed the uh, the People's Constitutional proposals, and until 1960, 60, 60s, in the 60s, the Malayan Communist Party held fast to the People's Constitutional proposals. Now the proposals were very advanced. It's a very important uh, constitutional document, a forerunner to the Federation of Malaya 1957 Agreement. And uh, it included citizenship. It, it asked for a, a, Malayu, a Malayu citizenship, which was shown in the films, a fully elected uh, legislative council, for the Malay rulers to be constitutional monarchs, Malay is a national language and uh, equal, equal citizenship rights. And uh, this was achieved in 1947. When you think of it, it was uh, about nine years ahead of the uh, AMNO MCA MIC uh, Alliance document proposing si almost similar kind of proposals. So they were ahead of the time. This is, this is a, a very good um, recognition of their role. Uh, and another thing is that it's not true to say that the, uh, the role of the AMC Jiputra is forgotten. Even in the official history books in the schools, it's impossible to, to wipe out the role of the AMC Jiputra because of the, the important struggles they did. And uh, you have uh, even the, the, the first Prime Minister, Duke of Rahman, acknowledging the role of the communists, to, to Dr. Ismail, acknowledging the role of the Malay left-wing movement, to Ngafa Baba and all that. You know. So you, it's not something you can wipe out. But, but as I said, this is the first time a uh, full-length so, documentary. Maybe on that, we'll take some comments.